if we would have told all of our parents, I'm sorry, the board has not approved this yet, we can't have any programs, it would have reflected not only that on the board, but it would have reflected that on the city. It was, uh, we were just in limbo, we didn't know what to do. Please forgive us for that. We weren't trying to hurt anybody's feelings, step on any toes. It's just that the programs have been running. We would have had to stop. We have been having those programs. That's why we went ahead and said, do it, because you're already in swing. If, if I remember correctly, my whole issue with that was that there were some concerns that were brought up by Ms. Martinez herself and the mayor herself in Which regards were? to the Boys and Girls Club. And that's what we were addressing at that meeting, and that prompted my to not approve the calendar at that time until we had more information, and that's why I wanted to establish a committee to look into some of those issues that were brought to us. Um, I was that not meeting. at that meeting. You were not. I, I was not told that I was on the agenda, so I didn't know that I was supposed to be at the meeting, and um, so I would have been able to probably address that at that time if anybody had any questions, but I didn't know, explain to me what was uh, the uh, issue. I'm, I'm not going to go back and I don't have that in front of me. Okay, I that's remember fine. we were addressing some concerns at that time that we brought to you. Okay, well I didn't know what the concerns were either. I'm sorry, I've just been kind of in the dark and... So, uh, so what I think we should do is I think we should take all of this into consideration and since this disagreement is renewal is coming up in September, yes. we'll need to review our policies and procedures, which we have now, when we're going forward from there. But what I think what, what I would appreciate is um, you letting us know, like for this next lease, Missing period. I mean, what do you need? What do you need on a weekly basis? Right. So to you're going to need program? a 2015 schedule. I'd like that. I yes. think for us to what, and I know you can't plan everything right this moment. This is through the end of the year. So oh, it, okay. So you do have things planned for the past September then. Um, they asked me, I'm sorry, but they asked me to do for the mm -hmm. 2014 Tuesday. year, so that's what I did. I it's just... Tuesday, can I ask you who's they? Excuse me? Who is they? Who are we referring to when you say they? Um, Gloria and Henrietta. Okay, Gloria and Henrietta. Okay. They're out. I was yes, just, and, and she, you know, she says we need a yearly, we need your calendar for the okay. year. Okay. My year is January to December. Right. Okay. I wasn't thinking lease I because yeah. we do January to December. So that's the schedule that I gave you is January to December. Okay. Okay. I'll just just I'm sorry, I know it doesn't I know it doesn't um, connect okay. with just, the lease. Just back uh, finding but um, that's how we've always done our schedule. And, and if the if it's the board's direction to match up the lease and the schedule date so that they overlap uh, that way the year is, is the least year. That's mm -hmm. forward. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Well, the lease wouldn't get signed. We wouldn't sign the lease, and that's why it drug all the way into September. We were trying to get trying to work with you to get a lease that you would sign. That's why it went into that's why it got off our year yearly thing. I think we had taken care of that stuff though. The stuff that was, I thought we had taken care of it too. Obviously, we, we did. did. We were just waiting for um, the approval for the schedule. We did take care of all that, Deborah. It was all taken care of. It's a simple matter to make sure that the calendar uh, and the yearly calendar, the year lease. The next yeah. lease will just That's extend right. through December. We'll just run it that way. I think. I it's, think that would be cool. it would be easier. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. the whole calendar year. So we're going to change that from like January to. Is that what you mean? Like, well, like September, September from September to December of 2015. Oh, correct. That that would probably be the easiest thing administratively for, and for the board and the boys and girls club. Oh, and then the next, next year lease would be a 16 or 17 month yeah. lease. So yeah. we're, so we're, and then you go back to a 12 month lease right. once once the cycles are synced up. Right. As you would have a, once we get a January through December lease right. every year. Uh, so this would be this year will only be this upcoming lease would be the only anomaly. After that, I'd go back to a 12 month right. cycle and then your calendar and the lease time period would be in that. Uh, but the reason why that all sync is because we couldn't come to agreement with, with the law. Yes. 
So this is accurate so the summer? Excuse me? And this is accurate so the summer? Yes, ma'am. So like in December, there's not a whole lot going on with the boys and girls. We, uh, as of by, uh, we try to get rid of, I mean, rid of, we try to get all of our programs done by um, before Thanksgiving. Then after Thanksgiving, we don't do anything after Thanksgiving, nothing through December. We're not using the facility um, through January. So what you have written here is only the days that you use it. So the days that there's nothing written in there, you're not using the event center. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You occupy the office. You're not using the gym or anything like that. That's what like you're asking. Oh, so right. that's what you're asking. Yes. Yeah. Are you using it in any, any of those facilities I'm on sorry, the days that are not written here? Asking. I see. Only see games and practice and tournaments. The is it used that I, any other time? I'm sorry. The schedule that I was asked. See, this is kind of where I get confused because the lease is for the office space. The lease really isn't for that schedule there. So I'm kind of getting confused. The lease is for just your office and that's what I use of the gym. No, we no, are getting all confused. Yeah, our our intention is basically the gym, yeah. the concession, the everything that you utilize, the use of the facility. Okay. All right. Yes. I'm sorry. I was confused. You didn't realize? Yes. I was a little confused on that. I'm sorry. Okay. So, uh, what, what we need then between now and the end of the year is a very complete, detailed outline of what the Boys and Club, Boys Club use on a weekly basis, and whether it's gym or just yeah, room 151 kitchen. size contention, that's, that's what we're talking about. The long that, room? Where, where we're making our money. We're not making, we're not, we don't make money in your office. We make money at the gym, and we make money huh. on room 151. And for, um, and that's what we want on here. for defense, um, for Boys and Girls Club, this summer we did excellently well. I mean, there was no, nobody turned away. The long room, uh, we, um, put everything on rollers, and when Gloria needed that long room, we would pull everything out. We'd have everything. That was in our agreement, right? Uh, yeah. So I mean, it worked well. Good. Um, everything went smoothly. Um, in fact, we were helping each other. With, you know, if she was short on helpers or somebody to clean or whatever the room and everything. We, we even helped her set up a couple of times when she was running short on help, and I had the kids, so good work. Well, that's the direction I need in terms of, of the lease and, and the dates so we can match up with the calendar. So I'll all synced up. No action required. No, no action required this time. What are we going to come up? Uh, we're going to have to come up, do the lease here pretty quick if it comes yeah, up September 1st. Yes. yes. We're going to need to review that lease yeah. agreement. Right. So you guys are needing what lease. from me then? The schedule for 2015? I think we need that by I the first the of January. I thought the lease was just going to go till December. This, we, this, lease, the, this lease that we signed last year ends on September the 1st. Okay. The new lease that we're going to make will be from September 2014 to through December, December of 2015. 16 okay. months. It'll be a 16 month, month lease. So correct. So a 12 month lease, 16 month lease, and then 2016 will be back to a 12 month. Please, is that right? I got it. I'm saying, I, that's how I understood okay. it. Yes. Okay, so, Debbie, please. if you can get us a, your calendar. Yes. And of course, we would like to see your financials. I have them here. And then also a list of the events you have. Do you have you have volleyball, you have soccer, you have your summer program. Right. Do you still do Zumba? Do you do any adult no. stuff? Do you do anything that you do out there? If yeah. you can provide us with a list, that'll clear it with Yeah, we don't do also. Zumba. We haven't done anything else. All we're doing is doing the kid events. Okay. Um, we tried that to see if we could, um, you know, help our families. And okay. Madam President, if I may, I just yes. advised the folks who were here a little while ago. Um, the board is about to adopt a, or should next meeting adopt a new policy and procedure manual. So, so all leases, all operations will be subject to that policy and procedure manual. Okay. So um, I think we need to spend that coming back to the board for the next meeting. So uh -huh. uh, we'll be providing a copy of that. Okay. So we'll see that. No big surprises in the probably. And, and may I, can I ask a, a question? I don't know what the board's procedure is or anything. When somebody's put on your agenda, 
How does that person know that they're on the agenda? It's okay. my fault, Deb. I, I should have called you. I apologize. Okay. All right. It's my responsibility, and I, I like okay. I explained to you on the phone earlier. Okay. I took off for the weekend, and I just forgot to call you. Okay. So all right. I'm glad that uh, Miss Martinez uh, notified you. So okay. I apologize. All right. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. We're going to be moving on to item 10, discussion and possible action related to the process of selecting janitorial services for the event center. I believe you had questions for our city manager. Item 10? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I just got questions again. And uh, I'm going to pinpoint um, the new janitorial person. And um, I wanted, I was wondering if there were bids taken for uh, replacing the janitorial service besides um, Ms. Juarez, if there were other bids that they took. And who, uh, who hired her? Who agreed to the $150 increase in pay? Uh, it was brought to my attention that the three people that were either fired or quit were paid $350, and now we're paying one person $450. And he makes the decisions on uh, the pay increases. Does any of this have to do, does any of this go through the board when you, you know, increase our uh, uh, person's pay? Does it, does it go through the board if you're going to, um, it seems sort of pick, uh, petty to, if you're going to get a new cleaning service, but is the board's decision, the city's decision. And also, um, it, it was told to me, I'm, this, this is just to, uh, totally told to me, that uh, Ms. Juarez uh, teaches dance or exercise classes there, and it was, uh, the fee was waived. So I believe all of your questions that you have right now, no, none of us here can answer. You know, I kind of want to just put this on the table and, and say, you know what, if people are stupid, Undermining us, they're stepping over us, and uh, and is that okay? I mean, is that am I just being pickyish? And maybe if I can ask a question because I, I don't know the answer to it, but certainly we want to make sure that the right folks to answer this question here next time. Uh, is this an employee of the city who is providing the services, or is it a contracted service? Contract. Contract. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's got her questions, and we'll make sure that uh, that we request. Uh, and, and, uh, Bill, maybe you know. I mean, is that just uh, are we don't get to say in any of that? I never dealt with that. It was never okay. brought to the board. Uh, when we had something uh, prior to Gloria, I, uh, Carolyn and, and Andy would look at it. Andy would call me and say, uh, "We've done this," okay. and you know. We have to have janitorial service. Sometimes you don't have the luxury of waiting three weeks or four weeks to, to come up with one of these people. You got to do it tomorrow uh, because they don't give you a month's notice. Um, and it's been handled that way. Now, we have a policy procedure manual that we're setting up that will cover that. And I think a lot of these things will come into play when we do that. But one thing I need to remind the board is we can't wait two months or three months to have a meeting. We're going to have to, if we're going to have that control, then we're going to have to be able to meet uh, as needed once or twice a month, maybe, uh, to make well, those decisions. Well, Will was complaining that last time we were together. He says, you people have more meetings than I can ever possibly attend. Well, my exercise as, as you take on so more res we, management responsibility, then you're going to have to have more meetings to make those decisions. We had that long span because of the, the money yeah. issue. We didn't have anything to talk about. Yeah. But I think when you say we're going to manage the building or we want to control who they hire as a janitor or who they hire as a maintenance person or uh, does, the electric, does the air conditioner get fixed this month? or we wait until next month. We can't wait three months to have a meeting. We're going to have to have meetings on a regular so the board can make those decisions and can be moved in and the things can be taken care of. 
That's my fault. And a make a general statement to, to try and address the question. And, and this again relates to the policy and procedure manual, which is now the next item on the agenda. Uh, but as a as a government entity, as, as a board in this case, uh, you make a determination as to how much authority you will delegate as to what is within your area of responsibility. And and some of that is dictated by your, your availability. And even governmental entities that meet every week, and there are city councils, for example, and county commissioners that meet every week. Uh, even those entities aren't necessarily making a decision as to who is hired and fired. That is delegated to, to staff. So uh, at the end of the day, it's a, that's a decision the board has to make in terms of balancing how do you want to meet, how much authority do you want to delegate, and what is within your authority to, to manage. <clears throat> like a school superintendent, they usually give them a, 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 an amount of money that they can spend uh, if, for an emergency. And if it goes over that, then they've got to go back to their board and say, look, I've got a problem here. But, uh, you know, they have they can take care of an emergency right away if they have to. And I think we need to set that kind of limit with our staff, too. You can go up to a certain amount. If it's over that, then you need to, we'll have to call the emergency board meeting and address it. That's a, that's a very standard way to operate, particularly for a board like this, not going to develop the type of board. Uh, same thing, special district board is you sell it and it's over, it's under this, you can spend it for that. Or uh, use the same thing by categories. Well, you can do this, this, and this. You can hire the person who cleans the toilets. We really don't think that's a board decision. But if you're doing, unless it's over X amount, but if it's something related to the repair of all the repairs that we're talking about, that all those things can come. If we have an air conditioner that's going to cost us $5,000 to repair, then maybe we need to talk about it. But if we're going to spend uh, $7, $75 to do something, then that's not something that the board should need to meet on. I think one of the issues that we've got as a board is that we don't have an employee. Ever since we, uh, Carolyn has gone, Amen. Carolyn was a 4A board, uh, hired by the board, and, and, and she worked forward to the board, board and we haven't had that. Since then, and uh, like the FEDC has uh, Mr. Baker, I think, mm -hmm. is there. Maybe that's an avenue that we have to look at. That's uh, certainly a consideration board. At one time, we hired Carolyn and we hired uh, Mr. Trevino and Alex. Uh, the board hired them and the board uh, was responsible mm -hmm. for them. And they came to the board when they had something. And uh, when they didn't, then they went to Andy and, and whatever. But, uh, and it was a work, I thought it was a workable thing when we did that, but it cost money. I mean, we had to pay them a salary. The thing that brought that to a grand halt was the, the uh, they wanted, of course, benefits like the city had. And that's very expensive when you start talking about benefits. And so that's why it eventually went back to the city, because we could not afford to do that. Any other discussion? Item 10. We'll move on to item 11. Discussion and possible action related to the event center policy and procedure manual. I think we can all realize how important this is as we've sat here every, on every item and it's gone back to because we didn't have this in place. We didn't have this in place. So it's very important that any information that you want on this procedures and policy manual that you get to us before our next scheduled meeting so that Rob can start to put this all together because it's, it's a key in being able to run everything the way that we're expecting it to run. All I would ask Madam President is uh, to send their comments directly to me. I will uh, incorporate those into the draft and uh, we'll look at that as a whole. Okay. Any questions on that? When do we anticipate we can be able to pass that? I would think the next uh, board meeting. That's the problem. Sure, it would be nice to have it in place as the budget cycle starts. So it certainly would be. Yeah, and it certainly ties back to the police uh, that we're talking about, the Boys and Girls Club, other issues that we have addressed in terms of fee waivers. So, uh, Even the garden center. Absolutely. I think we have touched on a number of items on tonight's agenda that are directly or indirectly impacted by uh, a policy man. I, I admire Deb for Miss Conley for 
bring these things up. There are issues, but we've never had a vehicle to address those issues because we've never had a real policy manual. And until you have that in place, you can't enforce rules that you don't have. Well, and I didn't know. I thought, well, maybe I'm just getting my feathers ruffled up. And, 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 uh, you need to get your feathers ruffled up because there are issues that we need to address. But we had but no I address. Maybe I was, maybe I was out of line. I, thought, I, don't, think I don't know. So. Because common sense and what the law is, don't enter, don't cross my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I just think we need, we need to address those things, and the way we address that is through our policy manual, which we've never had before. Yeah. Everyone get your input to Rob before our next meeting in September, and we'll try to get that procedures and policy manual placed. We move on to item 12, discussion and possible action related to the Forestville 4A budget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, I just wanted to... Um, Tell the board that I am um, that, that a Freedom of Information Act, and that's when because it was uh, for the 4A. So I'm just telling you, informing my board members uh, uh, what I'm doing. I sent it to the city manager on July the 12th, the 25th, and it was a Freedom of Information Act, and I wanted the refinancing of the uh, 2010 bond. And I sent a formal, uh, I had uh, sent the city manager a request just, you know, on person to person. And I was getting some other talk about the air conditioning unit over there. And I thought, well, I can see where this is going. So I did a Freedom of Information Act and I was asking for the refinancing of the bond. And I, number one was an itemized breakdown of the cost of the refinancing of this 2000 uh, bond to include names and amounts of entities that receive the funds. And number two was proof of payment of each entity to include paid invoices and our canceled checks. I have all the back and forth that we've been a multi more than a multitude of times. And so uh, I, to, I don't know when now we're gonna uh, call it 10 days, because you have 10 days to respond. So since you're here, do you have any intention on responding to the Freedom of Information Act? Or? As I responded to you in one of our many emails and copied to your attorney, you're asking for something that doesn't exist. They have not refinanced those bonds. Which okay, is you know what I'm talking about because you gave me the right term. You're, you're dancing me. I'm not dancing you at all. As I said, I answered you within 10 days in reference to that. I've given it to the city attorney. I reference to what you asked for, mm -hmm. I reference to that, and I will respond to you accordingly in writing as you responded to me. Okay, do. We know each other's stands. Before we move on on that, uh, City Manager Turner, as far as the 4A budget goes, we need to prepare that. Last year it was prepared um, with just the sales tax and the debt service. You know, the sales tax coming in, the debt service going out. And then the concession because uh, the board holds the, the liquor license on that. And that was the only thing that was on the 4A uh, budget. Are we going to change that this year? I know you're still in, in, in uh, your budget workshops. And I'm actually going to budget for your capital improvements, which you have the funding for. I'm sure. actually going to do that. You should budget for your capital improvements. Okay. The city is not actually anticipating budgeting any funds from the general fund to reference the maintenance of that building. By maintenance, you mean the normal day-to-day -day maintenance that the city's been doing? You're you're not you're not you don't have any of that on the budget. Well, I, my anticipation, which was what my initial conversation was, I didn't understand what you all had planned to do. But I'm assuming that if you fix the roof and do the painting and those kind of things, that next year most of the things in reference to your repair will take care of most of the day-to-day -day maintenance that we have to do in reference to that. And my budget, I do have a full-time employee and have scheduled a vacant position for reference to maintenance in reference to that, but I was anticipating your direction in reference to what you wanted to do. But the general maintenance from all the repairs that you have to do will probably carried on by whatever you have to do in reference to your repairs. And I think that's what you, you may mention, Rob, that <coughs> addressing some of these issues. Okay. We'll address that. Um, in fact, uh, now President Board members, I might want to recommend a uh, full budget workshop 
uh, I think probably uh, obviously the event center staff, city staff, uh, and this board to really delve into those details. One year we did a concur uh, joint, remember when we did the joint meeting? Mm -hmm. Sure, and, and I think we talked about that because I know the FEDC has to present theirs and approve by mm -hmm. They did right. theirs last night, but it leads to budget workshops. The city council has agreed to meet every Tuesday and Thursday for the month of August, so we have some other budget workshops. So do you have availability to include uh, Forgeville 4 a on those already scheduled? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. And we just need to get the dates so we can vote charge and then we'll yeah. 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 Remember, not, not city council meetings though, because council meetings I've actually taken care of council meetings. Yeah, the right. No, just but the it would be a budget workshop that we would meet jointly with them. Yes, but I'm just saying on the 14th, for example, and I believe the next date is the 28th, those are actually Council. Council. Well, we need to have our budget in pl uh, recommendations in place before we go to them. You said every Tuesday. So, so the 19th and the 26th, you're yes. having um, just budget. Yes. Okay. okay. Of August. Okay, then Thursdays budget. as well, there are not council meetings. Okay. <coughs> so any Thursday is not a council meeting. Is, also is there a specific meeting that you would rather have us on? I will come with you. Okay. Whatever you want. Okay. So the 19th and 26th? So the 19th is one day I don't know. That's next Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Then that then that Thursday as well. The mm -hmm. 21st we'll be meeting. So that Do you want to check your schedule, Rob? Uh, no, in fact, if, if my schedule is in company, you don't necessarily need me. That it's not really a legal question. I will be here uh, if I can. But all I need to know is uh, what date the board would prefer so we can go ahead and put, post that. I think we need to have our numbers in play, you know, <laughs> together before we go. So you want to shoot for like the 26th? 26th. And we need to have a meeting before then. Is that a council meeting? That's a Tuesday. Okay. Um, that's a Tuesday. That will be the budget. And then, so we're saying next week. We're going to schedule another 4A meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah, budget workshop. Right. So an internal budget workshop and then a joint workshop with the city. Right. So the 19th, we want to have a budget workshop with just yes. us. Yes. Okay. Okay. 8-19. They're Tuesdays. So the next two Tuesdays. The first Tuesday will be a budget workshop for us. The following will join with the city council. Ms. Turner, what time are those uh, city council? Six o'clock. Six o'clock? Okay. And would this board like to meet on the 19th at 6 p.m. as well? I'll just, yeah. Ours is our budget spreading the sales tax projecting. It's not, a, it's not a big labor task, but it's something we need to have. When we go to the council meeting, I don't think it's fair for them to sit, let us argue about it or discuss it. We need to have it ready to go. Okay. Madam President, the last item on the agenda, so we're going to item 12, is uh, staff reports. It's an uh, item I'm going to leave on, on every agenda. The report from, from city staff, either the event center from uh, city manager's office. An opportunity for them to brief the board I had maybe of interest to this board. I don't I, think they're prepared on that. I one. don't have an official report and I will get you one but we just finished our meeting. Mm -hmm. I referenced to that and one of the things that came up for discussion and I know maintenance is a big issue is that there's a hotel motel tax money that's out there and so the council debating about how to use this hotel motel tax. As you know there's restrictions in reference to what we can use it for and those kind of things but bottom line it's all about the convention center. So they are discussing some issues in reference to maintenance, even in reference to paying the debt, which we have to do some research on, but we'll be coming back to you in reference to that, because I believe that uh, Hotel Motel sits at about, roughly numbers, about a half a million dollars. Uh, we've been collecting about $300,000 this year. We anticipate more than that next year. And so I'm just, as well as the attorney, is just saying that we need to use those funds uh, because they are definitely restricted, but we need to use those funds uh, to promote the community center uh, and things such as that. So that's just something that's out in play. <coughs> and they discuss it. I don't want you all to be hit without no. the, nobody ever told me that. It's just a matter of discussion. We haven't worked anything out, but that's what the discussion of the council was. Well, it's certainly grown over the years, hasn't it? 
Yeah. And that's a very good uh, uh, point that you've made, City Manager, and we appreciate that. That should help uh, the 4A and, and the city to work together to accomplish what we need to, and that's to promote that center, keep it open, and, and grow it, and have good uh, programs, uh, like the Boys and Girls Club, Garden Show, and all of that stuff. So I think that's what Ms. Conley uh, wants to make sure that we are fiscally responsible with every penny that we've got. Right. Thank you. Madam President, there are no other items of business uh, on the agenda. Okay. I have a motion. Move we adjourn. Second. Second. Okay. Motion by Bill, second by Deb. No, we're all in favor. Aye. <laughs> And the time for adjournment, uh, it is 7.55. And you can get your tickets.